Do you know that the total number of possible moves in a game of chess outnumbers the total number of atoms in the observable universe? The Shannon number, introduced by Claude Shannon in his 1950 paper, Programming a Computer for Playing Chess, estimates the total number of possible unique chess games, reflecting the game's immense complexity. Shannon approximated this number at around 10 to the power of 120, a figure derived by assuming an average chess game lasts 40 moves, 80 plies, with about 35 legal moves per position, leading to a game tree complexity this magnitude. This number vastly exceeds the estimated 10 to the power of 80 atoms in the observable universe, highlighting why chess remains computationally unsolvable. The enormous number of possible games explains why brute force computation of all chess outcomes is infeasible, even for modern supercomputers. Instead, chess engines like Stockfish or AlphaZero rely on heuristics, alpha-beta pruning, and neural networks to evaluate positions efficiently. In comparison, the Shannon number dwarfs the game tree complexity of simpler games like Tic-Tac-Toe, which has approximately 10 circumflex to the power of 5 possible games, making it easily solvable. Conversely, the game of Go has an even larger game tree complexity, estimated at 10 to the power of 360, due to its larger board and fewer restrictions on moves, making it significantly more complex than chess. The Shannon number underscores chess's finite yet practically inexhaustible nature, as rules like the 50-move rule or three-fold repetition ensure games end, but the vast number of possibilities prevents a complete solution.